I'm an entrepreneur. God gave me this business and I'm going to do it. And I'm going to make history this year. Period. I have an announcement. I'm going to make $2.5 million in two months. Oh. Glad that's over with. Welcome, my name is Kristen, and I'm so glad to have you here. If you're a regular, we've got some talking to do. If you're new, girl, watch the last video so you know what I'm talking about. If you're somebody who's been thinking about starting a business, if you just dropped out of college, well, great, this is the place for you. Five. Every nine to five I have had, I've had eight jobs in the state of Indiana. I'm from Los Angeles. I just moved here. With Within a year, I've had like eight jobs. All of them pay way below and none of them are like healthy enough for me to stay and learned that anytime you're presented with a crossroad in life, you have to one, make a decision. Sometimes things aren't hard. They're just new and you just have to make a decision to be great. And I make a decision to be great. I will not answer and I will set boundaries with my friends and family. You can't talk to everybody about everything. Sometimes I'll just say I had a good day. I don't need to go into detail, but I'll give you guys the details. Now, why am I telling you this is because for the first time, I'm actually going to be vlogging this process. I hope that you learn that you, it's not about how many degrees you have, it's your ability to learn. Do you know how to learn something new? I am new to the staffing industry, but I'm not new to entrepreneurship. Um, and to help you guys out how I came up with this, I wrote down all the things that I need to do and it came up to like 25 things and then I just divided that, I don't know if you can see my lines, five things to do each day. This entire list will be done by the end of this week. So always look at what you have and look at what you need. What do I have right now? I have a laptop. I have about, um, I have an Instagram page. I have um, friends. I have social media. I have advertisements and I have Canva and I have emails. That's what I have. It's not about the money. It's about the relationships. It's not about money. It's about currency. So I'm showing you guys the process. Our Instagram, Dear Athletes Inc. We have 89 followers as of day one of this Dear Athletes Challenge where we are going to staff 100 college athletes per month. Ah! That Jesus did it. Get ready, get ready. I don't know why I did that. I saw another YouTuber do that. Be yourself. Be yourself. Are you subscribe and hit the bell notification because I want you guys to interact and encourage me throughout this process. Okay. Okay. So today was pretty rough. You breathe. You take a break. You come back and you execute. But most importantly, you make time for free. I, I am telling you, entrepreneurship is hard by yourself, but it's even worse when you don't have balance, when you don't have people to talk to. So my friend Melissa came to see me. Girl, she a whole nurse. <laughs> a whole nurse. Saving lives. COVID-19 practice. You better go ahead, Melissa. Hi. Hi. I've been looking forward to this time. Like, uh, I know. I'm really excited. Yeah, we haven't seen each other in like four or five months. So I'm not going to put work over friend time because there's been so much healing and so much laughter. Um, and I feel more excited to start my day tomorrow. So shout out to friend time after a long work day. Always make time for friends. The top is only lonely when you don't take people with you. Ooh. Okay, so today my friend Katie. She picked me up and she's taking me to work with her because she works for a nonprofit and she's a grant writer. And this is what real friends do. She knows that we have a nonprofit and she's like, oh, you, you should come and talk to my boss. You guys would really get along. And I'm just like, that's a real one. Thank you. So we are here at Katie's job and I'm going to be talking with her boss to get some help and pointers. Do you want to say anything, Katie? Uh, I'm excited to have you with us today. Yes. It's going to be awesome. It's going to so be see. awesome. Stay tuned. Take a look at this amazing office. So much space and only five people work here. Do you know what I am? I'm inspired. I'm so inspired to know that another woman who owns a nonprofit has an entire floor, all this space. She has all these different offices. Hey, Katie. Like places to film, like 
anytime you're starting a business or you have an idea work with what's working who is doing what you want to do get in their presence ask to interview them look at all this extra space i am so inspired it's coming it's coming it's coming sometimes you just gotta see it you aspire to be what you see and i'm seeing something i like i will be able to employ my community i will be able to change lives and i will not fail so this is the office i'm working in today i just had a meeting with simone who's the president of this nonprofit. i feel so discouraged <laughs> i i just want to praise god that i had somebody actually look through my website she went in and was like the fonts need to be consistent this is not aesthetically appealing to the eye and i need that people pay, i know people pay thousands of dollars for a consult to go in like that and she went in on my stuff for free and was like you need more help and I can't pay any, any interns to help me right now and then this whole thing of like getting another job like running and on being an entrepreneur like this it's not it's not easy it's not easy vegan chocolate. That's what I'm doing now. Early morning workout. So after my meeting yesterday, which was super helpful and I'm super grateful, it just remind it would just that meeting just let me know that there's so much work that I still have to do. There's work I have to go back and fix. So I was just feeling really overwhelmed and I actually ate four vegan snickerdoodles and two dark chocolate with almond vegan chocolate bars. The point is it's still sugar. So when I came home, I you know had another meeting and then I just crashed on the couch. So what you eat actually impacts your behavior and your performance. So I'm feeling like sluggish because I ate sugar. So now that I know that, I can stop like having this little mini pity party. I know that diet affected how I felt this morning, how I felt last night. And so today I'm getting it out, I'm sweating. I just did an ab workout, butt workout, stretched, and now I'm about to run two miles in 10 minutes, get it by any means necessary, bounce back and recover. <laughs> like and subscribe getting these contracts ready premium prices premium customers like and subscribe because i need you to encourage me throughout this process but we about to get it we about to make history this year come with it